Hello guys, Satyajit Patnaik here and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is going to be on PyWeb IO. So I know that many of the people, the machine learning enthusiasts or people working in the deep learning, NLP, all these areas, our next step is always to create a web application out of it, to make it to the next level uh, or to productionize it. And the major drawbacks in that part is uh, obviously we have to take care of the front end. We have to be good at HTML and CSS styling as well. So Flask and Django are the options for practice. But again, as I told, HTML, CSS plays a major role in that because you have to beautify the UI part or else it won't look appealing, right? So that's where PyWeb IO comes into the picture. And I got to know about this library a couple of days back, not a couple of days, probably 15, 20 days back. And uh, I, I took an official permission from the uh, the creator as well. His name is Wemin Wang. And uh, he gave me permissions to make it live on social media or on the open platform because it's an open source library. So he just gave me permission that you just create a video on that part. I don't mind. So that's where I came up with this video. I have been looking out for doing this video from last couple of days, but things has been a little bit on and off for me. So that is the reason I'm coming a bit late, but it's okay. So let me introduce you PyWeb IO. I'll talk everything about PyWeb IO and I'll also show you some of the basic examples of how to create an application out of it. And probably in my future videos, we shall also be creating some web applications using PyWeb IO and Python, uh, sorry, and Flask. And we'll try to, you know, see the differences, which one is actually better in terms of the UI part. Okay, so PyWeb IO uh, provides a series of imperative functions to obtain user input and output on the browser. Okay. Uh, turning the browser into a rich text terminal and can be used to build sim simple web applications or browser-based GUI applications, GUI applications. Okay, so using PyWeb IO, developers can write applications just like writing terminal scripts. Okay, so I'll just leave this uh, uh, link in the description below so that you can go through it and try to implement it in your use cases. I'll just... Uh, Move ahead. These are the features of PyWeb IO. Obviously, I'll not talk much about the features. It is uses the synchronization instead of callback based method to get input. It's a non declarative layout, simple and efficient, less intrusive. Old script code can be transformed into a web service only by modifying the input and output operations. So the very basic example which uh, the the developer has mentioned is about the BMI uh, BMI chart. So we will try to create that application and see how much effort are we putting on the front end part. So oh, that's major thing, right? So installation is going to be very easy. Uh, pip install PyWeb Bio, very easy, easy to install. And uh, development version, yes, but yeah, you can use a stable version. I haven't used a development version, which is kind of okay. This is a very simple hello world kind of problem which has been created using PyWeb Bio. I already have the code for that. Let me open that code. So this is how the code looks like. Very simple. It has its own input method and it has its put method. So what it is doing is we have created, and let me just zoom in. We have created a method over here and I'm taking input. Input your height, input your weight. So it's taking input, okay. And what type of input? It is float. You can also change your variables here to string, integer or something like that. Then I'm simply calculating the BMI based on the weight and height. We usually have the formula of BMI, right? Weight divided by height divided by 100 uh, square. Okay, that's what it is. I, I hope it is square. So what, what next? I'm just creating a list over here, top status. So based on the weight, uh, the BMI level falling in different ranges, it will provide us the output. What should be the output? Okay, so for top and status and top status, if BMI, so this is a pure Python code. So we are just invoking the PyWeb input here. That's it. And ultimately we are putting a text. So put text is nothing but the output format of the PyWeb IO. If I just simply run it, I don't have to do anything. I'm just calling the main function and I'm just calling BMI method. So I will be able to open the application live. But the only drawback with this application is, uh, let me just enter. It's not having inputs in one page. It's not a single page application at the moment, but there are ways to convert it. Submit, wait, let's say submit. Well, that's not my wait, but it's okay. So yeah, the your, your BMI level is this and the category is normal. So this is how 
the application has been created. Obviously, this is the basic version of the application as it is already mentioned here. It's a very simple PyWay Bio script to calculate the BMI. This is just a very simple script if you ignore PyWay Bio, but after using the input and output functions provided with that, you can interact with the code in the browser itself. Okay. You can see in the last line of the code, they are calling the BMI method to PyWayBio.start server. So let me go back. You can see this is getting started in a random port. We haven't mentioned the port. Okay. But yeah, you can mention your port as well. Port equals to 80, 800 or 8080, up to you. So these are the things which is possible. Now our next step would be, is PyWayBio, Pi can it be integrated with Flask? Yes, it can be. It can be integrated with Flask. You can see I already have that link open for that uh, particular thing. A uh, little bit of Chinese characters as well here. I believe it's Chinese. I'm not, uh, I, I pretty don't know. It might be Korean as well, but uh, this is the Flask code which has been created by the developer for this particular BMI thing. So I have just converted this into the English version of it. So I'll just show you the English version of it. And this is how it is. I'll just close the previous instance of the application done. Now you can see this is the uh, this is the next piece of code, the Flask piece of code. I have a main function here, put markdown. You can you can probably go through the code. It's going to be very easy to understand. Nothing to worry about. Information. I am just calculating the BMI here, passing the top status. And here the major thing is here I'm. I'm calling the flask function. I'm importing the flask. Um, there is a there is a method called as uh, web io underscore view, which is a method under your pyweb io dot platform flask. So this is the internal thing which is there. You can also check this particular piece. If I go to the platform part, okay, uh, not not this one. Yeah, you can see. So this is the Flask piece of code, but yeah, they do uh, they do also, uh, I think other options are also possible to have it integrated with Zango as well, it's there. I don't know, I haven't checked yet. Zango integration is there or not, but I am pretty much sure. Yes, it is there. You can see Pyway Bio, just search it Zango. See the support integration into existing web services. Currently supports Flask, Zango, Tornado, and I, AIO HTTP framework. So that's that's a wonderful thing. We don't even if we are using Flask or we are using Zango, integrating it with Pyway Bio, we are not putting much efforts on the UI part. Okay, so that's going to be a life savior for all of us, right? Because uh, at least personally for me, whenever I create my web application, I usually ping my UI folks, UI UX folks, I request them, can you build me a very good looking UI? And they take time, they, they go ahead and uh, do it for two days, three days, and they, then they come back. So this is a major relief for me at least. And yes, I'm just calling the app equals to Flask. I'm just initiating the Flask here. And I'm calling the add rule, uh, add URL rule. Slash tool is basically my method. So I'm redirecting the function into website slash tool. Okay. Webio underscore view, and I'm just calling the main function here. Methods, I'm passing it as get post and options. Okay, so I'll just start the function, uh, start the application out here, and it should be a single page application already in script mode. Can't stop, can't start the server. Let me see if uh, I can restart the kernel and I'll start. Should be okay. Shouldn't uh, create any havo havoc over here. Uh, okay, it has been created. Now you can see serving Flask app, BMI underscore ENG, lazy loading, uh, everything. How This is how Flask starts, right? So running on HTTP, something, something. Now, if you go ahead and select this, I'm, oh, it's not able to select, it's okay. Okay, let's just type in. If I just do it this way, you are expecting it to get hosted at this location, right? 
but it will not be hosted at this location. This is a this is a problem, but it's okay. Once you get started using Pyway Bio, you will understand. As I told you, we will have to go to the slash tool location. So if I just go here, slash tool, here you go. We have the body mass index. Uh, if you just click on this, it will explain you about, it is redirecting to the Wikipedia page. So this piece of code is nothing but your this piece of code. I'm putting the mark down here. Okay, I'm doing here. Body mass in index, I have a hyperlink here. Uh, this is how the method has been created by the Pyway Bio. Okay, you just explore what is uh, what is this method, put underscore markdown. Here it is. And here I have everything on the same page itself, BMI calculation. They have also given the source code of this application is here. But yeah, this is uh, this has a Chinese version as well, but I will leave you the, uh, the easiest version to use. This is what we have created. Uh, yeah, taking their reference. I'm not taking it. I'm not telling it's my own piece of code. BMI calculation. I'll just pass. Let's say 173 and wait uh, 71. And you can see, you can see that in the same page itself we are getting the output. So this is how it is, guys. Uh, this is all about Pyway Bio. I will also be exploring a couple of my use cases, be it uh, some uh, some high level or from intermediate to advanced level use cases and we'll try to integrate with Pyway Bio and see how the UI looks like. Obviously, as you can see all these things, the the uh, the styling part, the tabular, tabular part, all these things, I haven't done it, right? It's just a simple piece of code. This is it. This is it, which has been created. But it is so beautiful, right? So this is the beauty of Pyway Bio. I think it's a very, uh, very young library being created it has a lot of potential so let's let's explore more options as well but yeah this is just one of the options how you can deploy your machine learning code that's it from my side guys in case uh, you like my video please like share and subscribe among your friends i will also be looking out for a uh, couple of videos in hindi most of my people have been telling me that i should start videos in hindi uh, my Hindi isn't great, so let's see what how it goes. But yeah, I'll I'll definitely have some videos in Hindi as well. So thank you guys. Winding up, and please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.